Hi, I had a question on pedal technique from one of my students, so we're going to get into that and I'm going to show how to bounce the pedal. Most beginners don't realize that the pedal bounces. Usually what a beginner will do is just slam the pedal into the head and they won't get any bounce from the pedal. Now using the heel down technique, we're going to look at a way of developing the feel for a bouncing pedal. Notice that my foot is slightly above the pedal. Alright, so you see this here, you'll see that the pedal moves from the spring and the chain here. Now, you can just have the pedal do this, but you're not going to really get the pedal to bounce off the bottom of your foot like that. So you kind of hear that sound there, the pedal bouncing here. Now that's a nice light bounce. Now I do have a mute on here, so it's a little more difficult to get the bounce, but you can see that I'm not moving my foot very far, it's just like that. But what's happening is that the pedal is meeting the bottom of my shoe and bouncing off of it. Like that. So that's how you would get a bounce on the pedal with your heel down. The other way to bounce the pedal is with your heel up, is if you're going to slide the pedal to get a double stroke. So you would hit the pedal coming down like this, and as the pedal is coming up, you're going to slide your foot. Like that. Now you have to find the sweet spot for the size of your foot um, and the size of your pedal to find that place where it would be the lightest and easiest way to bounce. It's not going to bounce as freely up here, although you can still get it to do that. But if you go a little bit further back from the bounce point, which is right about there on this pedal, it bounces here, but you'll feel a nice bounce on this DW5000 right here. It's just a nice, you just tap and slide, tap and slide, tap and slide, tap and slide. So. So when you see guys varying their foot, that's basically what they're doing. They're going around the pedal and sliding it over the pedal to get multiple bounces. The third way is using your ankle. Now, in the one that I just showed you previously, I forgot to mention that you're using mostly your thigh and your ankle. Some people, like when they want to play loud, they'll just do this. They'll raise their thigh and just come down, and you'll get a very... But even on that, the dum dum, there's a little slide right there. Now, the ankle by itself, here I'm raising my thigh, and I'm just using an ankle stroke like this. All right, when I say ankle, my ankle is a joint, but it's just my foot that's doing this. It's like tap dancers do this a lot. Some of your greatest bass drum players were tap dancers. Steve Gadd, Buddy Rich. They're great pedal technicians, and uh, they were using um, tap dancing techniques. So, you can see that the pedal is bouncing again. And that's very good when you're doing fast double bass work. Okay, I hope that helps. If you have any questions, um, let me know. That's just a simple breakdown of things there that I could use for my students rather than having to explain it over and over again. Thanks for watching.